Hey guys, welcome back to the Turnbuckle Taverns YouTube page. Today we are talking about Samoa Joe going to AEW. But before we get into that, make sure you guys click on the link in the description below. Subscribe to the YouTube page. That'll take you, the link will take you to our social media pages, the podcast page where you can rate, subscribe, and review. It'll also take you to our pro wrestling tea store. And if you click on the bell up in the corner, it'll give you notifications as when we come back with new videos. But now let's get into it. A AEW Samoa Joe. Are we going to see that happen? Uh, maybe when his contract's over. Yeah. I don't even know when that is. Do you know when his contract's over? I don't think anybody knows when his contract's over. And I, honestly, I don't think anybody knows if he's even cleared to compete because right now he's just on the commentary team. Right. And and what brought this up to Samoa Joe? And, yeah, the reason that, that we brought this up is because on Chris Jericho's um, – the Saturday night special that he does, he had brought up, he would love to see Samoa Joe wrestle in AEW. And, you know, when somebody like Jericho says that, I mean, he's responsible for getting a lot of people over to AEW, you know, and, and to see him say, it, I, the quote is, um, someone asked about uh, which a, which WWE superstar he'd like to see in AEW. His answer um Someone said Samoa Joe. He said, so would I. I don't know if Joe's hurt right now or if he's not feeling good, but I'll tell you what, man. He's just an amazing wrestler. He's a great talker and just a hell of a guy as well. I would love to have him in AEW. I don't know if he wants to go. He may be hurt, and he's a great commentator, so if he's going to come to AEW and steal my possible commentating job, then forget that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be great to see him, and Joe kind of – created his name outside of wwe anyway so it's not out of the realm of possibilities that i think he would leave the company yeah he's not a homer for wwe like he's not i don't think he's he has no lifelong ties there unless he kind of views this as the twilight of his career and he's just looking to cash in yeah maybe i mean i can see that but i, I think out of anybody, I think there's more of a possibility of him going somewhere else than anybody else. Yeah, out of those guys, I mean, you kind of relate him to AJ Styles, though. Him and AJ are very similar, came up through TNA, made their names there, and AJ said he's once his deal's over, he's done. Yeah. He's not wrestling anymore. So AJ has went to WWE and is just cashing in for his family, where – Samoa Joe, I, I don't know. I think it all depends on the extent of his injury. I think if if this injury is going to keep him out of action, I think he's going to be WWE for life. Yeah. But yeah, I don't, if I mean, he not, still has time to to go in the ring, I think he there's a possibility he could go to AEW. Yeah, I don't think – I mean, if, if the injury is going to make him retire from in-ring competition, I don't think there's any way he goes to AEW. There's no reason for him to. Right. But – I think if there's still a chance for in-ring competition, I think AEW offers a better a, a better showcase for him than what WWE would. Yeah, and if we're back to the way things were rolling before the pandemic, I think at his age and you know the injuries he's kind of accrued, I think a schedule that AEW provides will probably be easier on him than WWE if they go back to, you know, house shows and all of that. Yeah. I just think, I just think AEW would book him in a, in a role that would be more fun for him. Honestly, if he stays with WWE in a wrestling capacity, it's just, he's just going to have a few matches and not really, there's not going to be much story. I think with AEW, they take their people and they can have story outside of the ring. Right. And that's, something that wwe just doesn't do with their scripting well has he really had any big booking storyline in wwe since he came i don't think so not that i mean nothing, I mean, nothing out to yeah, me. yeah no, i don't remember anything maybe i'm wrong but there's nothing that comes to mind with samoa joe in the main roster yeah i mean again it's one of those things man once you come to the main roster i honestly i, I hate seeing anybody come to the main roster anymore i do too 
I like I when I hear somebody getting called up to the main roster, I mean it used to be like, oh man, this is awesome. We're gonna see them on Mondays. Right. But now it's like, oh man, if we want to see him, we'll have to go get some food right. backstage. Yeah. Yeah, because they're <laughs> only at catering. We're not gonna get to really or they're not used the way they should be. Right. Like Bobby Roode. I mean, good God. That guy was so over in NXT and he, they just it's like they feel like what what goes on in NXT doesn't work up there, and I don't understand that. Yeah, that's a terrible that's a terrible model of of how to think because if it's over there, why wouldn't it be over? It's basically the same fans, right? And I mean, when Bobby made his Raw debut everybody in the crowd singing glorious oh yeah so everybody knows what's going on everybody knows him from nxt but then they just bury him yep same thing with the end zone cast right when they came in i mean that pop was massive yeah that just showed you how big the nxt fan base was too like people were in the know yep and and that's the thing those same people are going to raws and smackdowns also and I think Samoa Joe's promo ability fits in AEW. Well, yeah, because if he's not gonna if he's gonna be scripted, then it doesn't fit W like or he he just doesn't fit WWE with scripting. He needs to he needs to be let go on his own to to do his promos. Yeah, yeah. So you know, well, yeah, I mean, he's one of the few guys that even with scripted promos, he can make it sound good. Yeah. I mean, he does he does it well, but I want to see him with no restrictions. Oh, yeah. Let him loose. Almost unrestricted. Yeah. Yep. So let us know in the comments, where do you want to see Samoa Joe end up? Do you want to see him stay with WWE for the rest of his career? Or do you want to see him kind of venture out and 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 wrestle for another organization leave a comment in the in the section below and we'll be back at you